Looking for a substitute for corn syrup and rocket fuel? Well, today we're going to try honey. Hello and welcome to Rotary Rocketry. This is part one of a four part series that we're going to release over the next few weeks. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button and get notifications for the future videos. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that like button. Now the rocket fuel we make is a sugar fuel that's made with 18% corn syrup. Now here in the United States, corn syrup is available in just about every grocery store and it's really cheap. But that's not the case in all areas of the world. In some places, corn syrup is just not a common product. And over the last few years, I've had a couple of viewers ask, what else can I use? Well, I've always had a few ideas, but up until now, I had never tried any of them, so I didn't know if they would work. In the first three videos of this series, we're going to test three alternatives to corn syrup. And I'm sure that at least one of them is available no matter where you live in the world. In the fourth video, we'll put all the information together. I'll talk about the process of making the fuel with each of the different sugar products, and if there were any noticeable differences. Then we'll compare the rocket launches using each of those fuels to see if there was a clear winner or a clear loser. I'll put links in the description to all the videos in this series, but if you're watching the video right after we release it, there won't be any links because we haven't released the other videos yet. Today, we'll be making rocket fuel using honey. We'll be using our standard fuel mixture, which is 65% potassium nitrate, 17% powdered sugar, and 18% honey instead of corn syrup. That gets mixed together and heated to around 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 degrees Celsius. The fuel is poured directly into the motor casing and the core rod is installed. Here's a view of the finished fuel. The motor and nozzle that we're using for these tests is our Dart Monkey motor. This is a single-use PVC motor that's really easy to make. If you want to know how to build this motor, we have a video on our channel with complete instructions. There's a link down in the description. Now with any experimental motor, we always do a ground test to be sure the fuel burns well, but more importantly, to make sure the motor doesn't explode. This test went great, so I built another motor just like it, and we're ready to launch. This is the rocket we're going to be using for all of the test launches with all the different fuels. It's a three inch diameter rocket and it weighs just under a thousand grams, including the motor. Honey rocket motor in three, two, one. Very nice. All right, that was a great launch, 704 feet. So we've got another video coming out next week using the next corn syrup substitute. Be watching for that. There'll be links down in the description to all the videos in this series as soon as they're released. If you're not subscribed to the channel, we'd love it if you'd consider hitting that subscribe button. While you're down there, hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.